All right, welcome back. Since you already know how to install the TWRP, how to install the custom ROM, and how to root your device, now take advantage of the root. We need the extra RAM. How to get extra RAM? Use your virtual RAM. That means it using your internal storage as a RAM. There are many apps that can do that, but one thing for sure, you need root. Okay, I'm using the pet version. F K kernel manager how much maybe for USD 16 Malaysian ringgit or you can use any this one 749RM 8 ringgit this one a bit cheaper but FK kernel are uh, much better. This one cheaper also smart pack. The free okay, install this one first. Free one, there are a lot of free one. Kernel audio tour. Or you can use any other kernel. Auditor Auditor This is a pet pet it's not free This one is a pet also Why why not so many can uh, Adi Yuta. This one also good. Can I parameter? Where is it? Can I apply? Can I channel? Never mind. You can get or uh, later on I give a link if I get the good one, the free one. Okay, hold on, let me adjust the home setting. No. No. One thing good about this uh, CR droid, your driver uh, 615 straight away out of the box. 615. You don't have to use any custom driver. The driver already inside the ROM. So at the moment, our RAM at 4 GB, the virtual RAM 2 GB. Uh, this one are uh, default. Okay, FK kernel manager allow grant uh, permission allow memory over the memory first miscellaneous fast charge you can use the fast charge and this one important thermal profile use dynamic animal 
so every time you restart this thing will be enabled automatically so memory once again memory see 2048 RAM size Z RAM okay it focus okay uh, 2048 that means 2 GB uh, default enable so enable CRM size enable now we're changing the size to whatever the maximum you got so the maximum are 4 GB now it is sizing this one may take time all right that's it the rest of the setting if you know how you can play with it if you don't better leave it default now it resizing the ramp while waiting for it to resizing we install the emulator the skyline h51 version 51 okay h51 all the link i will give you in the description below how to set this one done Okay, copy the skyline edge to your home screen can it flip now and about here auto rotate wait 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 I don't want to rotate home setting rotate hmm. something missing hold on let me troubleshoot rotation rotate because RAM are still using never mind we continue with the setting after you open the app this is what you get it will tell you to create a new folder for your game ISO or you choose wherever you copy your game to a folder or any way as you like for me I'm copying it to the this the external SD card my ISO are over here switch okay use this folder allow okay now why because you don't have the switch key Okay, go to setting. Production key. I will give you the latest key, the 16.0 in the link also. The emulator also in the link. Where you put your... The key. As for me, inside my SD card. Key 15. Key 16, this one is the letters. Just now it asking for the product key. Now, title key. That's it. Team, up to you, whatever team. Sh 
show game information. No. If you if your device are powerful, you got a good SOC, then you enable the dock hot. As for this one, a potato phone, so disable it. So performance statistics. Auto. This one stretch. Stretch to fit. Driver, not it. Not. This one default. Default. Leave it. You can force it. Just feel the heat at the back of your phone. It if it overheat, then disable it. You can try. The rest of the setting only the input. Now, see this one. The uh, the key. Incomplete production key. Hmm. Let's try the version fifteen production key. Version fifteen. Fifteen. Product key. Right. Successfully generate. Huh. Sixteen problem. Fifteen. Okay. Okay. I give you the both of the link. Version fifteen and sixteen. Okay. While waiting for the RAM to be adjust, the RAM already adjust. Why it don't want to flip? So we start first. Sometimes uh, some of the file are missing for the sensor, the driver for the sensor to detect the rotation. I'm missing that's why it can rotate. Ha, after it start it was okay. Whether it's enable the zero now. Let's look at our Virtual RAM memory memory enable two zero four eight okay. enable it again resizing now it was four GB right that's it very simple to enable the Virtual RAM. You can look over here. Hardware. How many we got? The slot RAM. Now. Four GB. All right. We are good to go. Let's play. But first, Bluetooth controller. Okay. What is Bluetooth? I forgot the version of this controller, so hold the home and D-pad up, up and home. See the blinking light. Search for the device. Okay, new device. Nine one six seven, is it? Yep, nine one six seven. I pick up PG. Nine one six seven are uh, connected. Oh. 
Okay, controller connected. RAM already resized. Let's try Duck Sider 2. 2. Play. Wait. You know why? Why? This one. Module. Disable it. Hmm. Need to restart again. Why? This is how you troubleshoot. It's not so complicated as long you know how everything can be done. Perfect. Learn. You have to learn every day. It's not so hard, very simple actually. The only thing you are lazy to learn something new in your life. If you are willing to learn, so welcome to my channels. Come on, ram, 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 ram. Check again. With automatic resizing. No, I think it's enabled again. It's enabled. So, automatic is uh, resizing. Don't worry, after we start, it will resize the RAM. For the first time, may take time. After a couple of time, should be okay. So Bluetooth are okay. Now, test again. Now we are still using 2GB. The swap RAM are still not active. Side two. Hmm, Thirty FPS, not bad, not bad. Put that top on. Need to change the battery. Worry all. So many years abuse. The capacity of the battery already low. Yes. Hmm. Pot potato pond playing Dark Sider 2. At the moment, the controller uh, see not configured yet. So your Bluetooth, whatever controller you want to use, go to the bottom. any one of them handheld plus pro controller okay. rumble used to be in okay over here lapstick lapstick push center push that one the R L3 okay up hall oh sorry next up okay left okay right okay down where's the down right left down y minus left up none check we do again set center button okay up 
down left right done right uh, right stick okay button up down left Come on. One more time. Okay. Up. Down. Left. Right. No, oh, just one click. The R3. Done. Depend. Up. Hold confirm. Down. Hold confirm. F. Hold to confirm. Right. A. B. C. Mana ada C. X. Y. A. B. C. Left shoulder. L1 right shoulder R1 left trigger R L2 hold right trigger R2 hold it okay last button is the start here start minus is uh, select button emulator you can use the home button but not it all right uh, about our ram ram already let's begin <coughs> potato pond playing duck cider too No driver needed. Inside the CR right already 615 open GL. That's considered the latest one. <coughs> Sorry, I lost my voice. <laughs> Eat a lot of hot stuff. The spicy. Especially chili. Wow. Really love it. Now our controller are okay. Difficulty normal. Easy. I'm a noob. <laughs> Kiss my ass, hacker. Hmm. The graphic so far. Really good. Only the FPS, maybe we get half the speed. Or if we are lucky, we can get 30 FPS maximum. Who knows? Cutscene.
12 I think at uh, 10 maybe around 10 ah. not a problem someday you will get a decent FPS trust me at the moment the emulator still new Just a bit glitch for 720 you can use uh, custom GPU driver but for this uh, potato pond well One more thing, if you remove the thermal file, the performance may improve a bit, maybe up to 15 FPS. Delete the thermal file in the vendor.
Well, that's it. After this, I delete the tunnel file and replay this game again. Or test any game that will run with this SD665S or C. There are many games. Really good game. Okay. That's it. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next video.